if you think about about information gathering it looks as though there are almost two arrows in which information goes so one arrow is the one we describe now where you simply notice the complexity in the universe and you just say there are more and more things happening and clearly if I take the if I take the amount of information even formally if I look at the number of different probabilities things that can happen it's clear that the information grows but in fact the way we humans generate information is that we look at all of these multitudes of events and we try to combine them into as coherent a picture as possible so in a sense we are trying to introduce an extra arrow which goes in the opposite direction which says you know there are many events it does look complicated at first sight and it looks like it requires lots of information but if you look at it deep down at some level uh, in fact it seems to require very little information so currently as we understand all all you need is the the few the handful of laws of quantum mechanics and that already explains everything that we that we observe around us so this is a huge amount of data compression that we achieved by just observing everything that happens around us and of course this compression in its own right generates more information because it guides us in how we should we should probe the universe in the future to keep testing this. So things that we now know we can do with quantum mechanics, we couldn't even think about with classical, you know, the experiments we do quantum mechanically didn't even exist, if you like, 100 years ago when people didn't have this form of compression. Certain people believe that they already have um, a different formulation of uh, to quantum mechanics and and it gives most of the results that quantum mechanics I think it hasn't been checked um, for all experiments and I'm not sure that every little detail of quantum mechanics can be explained but it gives um, quite a lot of quantum mechanics already with a completely different structure so it could well be that there are many different ways of compressing this information what scientists would usually like to invoke at this point is, is this principle called Occam's razor. Which, you know, it's not clear that you can formalize this principle uh, very well and make it mathematically completely sound. But the principle says that you should not uh, multiply assumptions beyond necessity. So you should really try to explain all the facts with the least number of hypotheses that you need to put. Now, how to quantify the least number of hypotheses is very unclear. So, for example, to me, certain alternatives to quantum mechanics look like they carry more baggage than quantum... You know, quantum mechanics look, looks to me tighter than, than what I see out there that claims to explain all of these things. That also includes various hidden variables and, and things like that. But, you know, who's to say that, that, that if you quantify this tightness in a different way, maybe, maybe they offer that. So you're right. I think it could well be that we will have to live with a multitude of, of different pictures which are all compatible with all the observations we make. Probably at some level I'd find it slightly disappointing that there is no ultimate, there is no ultimate answer. I'd like to have a kind of um, a clear-cut um, clear scenario. Even, even if it involves this ultimate randomness, you know, if, if we are really ultimately convinced that there are events that happen without any prior reason, I think I'm happy to live with that, uh, as long as that's really the conclusion. But I think if you say, oh, but we will never be able to stay that. I will always be able to come up with some higher level hidden variable theory. I think I wouldn't find that as, as satisfactory as that, yes. You know, this is, this is a perfectly valid philosophy as well that exists out there. There are quite a lot of laws we discover in nature are ultimately simply a reflection of, of our own uh, limitations and, and, and finite capacity to, to process information. So you're right, it could well be very presumptuous to say that, that science 
which is which is a human discovery. It's a very young enterprise, you know, only 300 years old, if you like. It could be very presumptuous to even say that this will give us the ultimate answer. And it may well be that we won't just even know how limited, you know, just because we cannot jump out of out of that.